Hi, good morning, everyone. Nana. Today, online class continuation bits from 31 onwards. If alpha, comma, beta are the roots of alpha, comma, beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c is given, and second equation of the roots 1 minus alpha by alpha and 1 minus beta by beta, then r equal to is asking. That means you have to find the r value in terms of abc. See here. Solution Alpha is a root of AX square plus BX plus C. That means alpha satisfies the equation. In place of X, you can substitute the alpha A alpha square B alpha plus C equal to 0. This is karma. Now I am finding the equation has the roots. 1 minus alpha by alpha and 1 minus beta by beta. Let x equal to 1 minus alpha by alpha. x value can take 1 minus alpha by alpha. From this you have to find the value of alpha. Then you can alpha value find the jetta. Alpha x equal to 1 minus alpha. Alpha taking left hand side. Alpha x plus alpha equal to 1. From that alpha common x plus 1 equal to 1. What is the value of alpha? 1 by 1 plus 6. Substitute in that 2. In 1. We get a into 1 by 1 plus 6 whole square. Plus b into 1 by 1 plus 6. Plus c equal to 0. Else we can take it. 1 plus x whole square. So a into 1 a plus b into 1 plus x plus c into 1 plus x whole square equal to 0. Denominator bin the right answer. Expand the system a plus b into 1 b b into x bx. Let's expand this one. C into 1 plus x whole square is 1 plus x square plus 2x. Open the bracket C multiply and set C plus Cx square plus 2cx equal to 0. x square common Cx square plus from this to x common 2c plus b plus a plus b plus c equal to 0. But this is the equation have the roots 1 minus alpha by alpha, 1 minus beta by beta. But the given, what is the given equation? Px square plus us plus r. But 1 minus alpha by alpha, 1 minus beta by beta has the roots of the equation is Px square plus qx plus r. Compare the both, we get the r value. But given Qx plus r equal to 0. r is the condition. Compare the both equations. r value get a plus b plus c. r value have a plus b plus c. Check the solution. Copy it. Yes. Come into 30 second question, Nana. Alpha, beta are the roots of the equation is given. Solution. Alpha, comma, beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c is given. From the sum of the roots value, what is sum of the roots formula? Alpha plus beta is we know very well minus b by a and product of the roots is c by a. Sum of the roots formula minus b by a nana. Product of the roots are how c by a. Now you have to find the value of you have to find the equation whose roots are 1 by a alpha plus b and 1 by a beta plus b. Two methods are there. First method you can take this value as x. From that, you have to find the value of alpha. Similarly, you can substitute the previous method. Similarly, uh, you have to substitute in the given equation. Again, I am repeating. 
take this value as x. From that, we have to find the value of alpha value. Alpha root means substitute in this equation. We get the required equation. Otherwise, one more method. Alpha is the root of the equation substitute in this case. We get a into alpha square plus b alpha plus c equal to 0. For first two terms, alpha common, a alpha plus b equal to minus c. So, a alpha plus b equal to minus c by alpha. Reciprocal, liquid equation has a reciprocal root. So, 1 by a alpha plus b equal to minus alpha by c. Similarly, 1 by a alpha, a beta plus c equal to minus beta by c. In place alpha, you can take the beta. In place of alpha, you have to take the beta. Now, you can find the summation. Sum is 1 by a alpha plus b, 1 by a beta plus b. That is a minus alpha by c, plus into minus minus beta by c. Else, we can take it sum C is LCM alpha plus beta minus comma. But what is alpha plus beta minus B by A? Minus B by A in place of alpha plus beta, you have to substitute minus into minus plus B by A C will get. Now you have to find the product. 1 by A alpha plus B into 1 by A beta plus B. 1 by A alpha plus beta is minus alpha by C into minus beta by c minus into minus plus so 1 by c square into alpha beta what is the alpha beta value c by a 1 by c square into c by a c c get cancel 1 by a c will get so required equation is x square minus sum of the roots index Best product of the roots equal to 0. Summation how much you got it? B by AC. Product you got is 1 by AC. AC is LCM nana. AC into X square minus BX plus 1 equal to 0. Do you want to bring right hand side? We get AC into X square minus bx plus 1 equal to 0 is the answer. Check the solution. Comment to the next question, Nana, 33rd. Number of quadratic equations, number of quadratic equations which are unchanged, which are Unchanged by squaring the root C is P. Number of quadratic equation which are unchanged by squaring. Suppose alpha beta is there. Alpha beta has the equation, one equation will get. Alpha square, comma, beta square also we get the same equation. Meaning is the if the square of the roots if we take, we get the, the equation does not change. Square this gani, equation change cover do. A number of quadratic equations are is P is given. Next, sum of the roots of those quadratic equations is Q is given. See here, one second. Suppose, for example, 0, 0 quadratic equation. X square minus 0 plus 0 into X plus 0 into 0. That is X square equal to 0. This is the one equation. Next, if we take 0, 1. 0 square is a 0 obviously, 1 square is also 1, 1 square is also 1. So, x square minus 0 plus 1 into x plus 0 into 1, that is x square minus x equal to 0, this is the one equation. Next, 1 comma 1, so x square minus 1 plus 1 into x plus 1 into 1. It is x square minus 2x plus 1. This is the one more equation. First equation, second equation, third equation. If we take the squares of these roots, the value of the equation does not change. 
Next one more nana, this is the omega, this symbol is omega. It will come in the complex number. So omega comma omega square are the roots of the equation. Omega comma omega square are the roots of the equation. X square minus omega plus omega square into x plus omega into omega square equal to 0. That is x square 1 plus omega plus omega square is 0. Further, omega plus omega square is minus 1. So, minus into minus plus 1 x. Omega into omega square omega cube. Omega cube value is 1. If we take the square of these two roots, omega square first root, second root is a omega square whole square. And it becomes a omega power 4. Omega power 4 can be as omega cube into omega. 1 into omega, omega. So if we take we get this, if we take the square of these two roots, we get again omega and omega square. We get omega and omega square. So total how many equations are possible? 1, 2, 3, 4. So P is the 4 nana. So P value is 4. P equal to 4. Next, what is the Q is asking? Sum of those two all roots. Sum of all roots they are asking. So, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, plus 1 plus 1, omega plus omega square. So, Q equal to 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus omega plus omega square is 0. So, P value 4, Q value is 2. P value is the 4, Q value is the Two is the answer. Check the solution. Come into next question, Anna. Come into next question. See the next question. Three plus four i is the root of this equation is given. 3 plus 4i is the root of the equation. Minus 2 plus 2, 3 is the root of the second equation they are given. Then you have to find the relation between a, b, c, d they ask him. Relation between the a, b, c, d. See here, by using this root, you have to find the one quadratic equation. By using this root, you have to find the one quadratic equation. First quadratic equation compared to x square plus ax plus b, a value, b value you have to find. By using second quadratic equation, you have to find C and D values. You can find the C value and D value. After that, you can find the relation between A and B. Let x equal to 3 plus 4i. Our aim to eliminate the i. So 3 taking left hand side. One I aim I and eliminate char. 4i. Since i square is minus 1, Anna. i square value is minus 1. Squaring on both sides x square 3 square 9 minus 6x equal to 16 i square. What is the i square value? Minus 1. That is 16 into minus 1. Minus 16 taking left hand side. So finally x square minus 6x plus 15 equal to 0. But this is given x square plus ax plus b. a value is minus 6 b value half 15, a value half minus 6 to b value half 15. Similarly, you can find by using this root, you have to find the equation, root 3 minus 2. You want to eliminate the irrational part. By squaring, we get the eliminate the irrational part, no? minus 2 taking left hand side, x plus 2 equal to root 3, squaring on both sides, x plus 2 whole square equal to root 3 whole square 3, x square plus 4 plus 4x equal to 3. x square plus 4x, 4 minus 3, sorry. 3 square 9, root 3 equal to 3. 3 taking left hand side, 4 minus 3, 1. 3 taking left hand side, 4 minus 3 equal to 1 we get. But this is given x square plus cx plus d nana. So c value 4, d value is 1. c value is 4, d value is 1. 
first smaller number minus 6 less than next smaller number 1 less than next smaller number 4 less than okay that is a a less than d less than c less than b check the solution Next question, Anna. If the ratio of the roots of the first equation is equal to the ratio of the roots of the second equation, ratio of the roots of first equation is equal to the ratio of the roots of the second equation. I will take let ratio of roots of equations are. M is to n. Now, first equation is given x square plus bx plus c equal to 0, and second equation is given x square plus bx plus q equal to 0 is given. A value 1, b value b, c is the c. The roots are in the ratio m is to n, then satisfy the condition m plus n whole square by mn equal to b square by ac. But b is what here? Small b. b square by 1 into c c. This is the one. From the second equation, in this case, quotient of x square a is 1. Quotient of x b is a p. Constant c is a q. Same condition you have to apply. m plus n whole square by m n equal to b square by a c. The p square by q equate the both. Equating the both, we get b square by c equal to q square by p. P square by q we get. Cross multiplying b square q equal to c p square. Taking left hand side, c p square minus b square q equal to 0 we get. Check the solution. Coming to next question, Nana. The ratio of the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to is m is to n. Ratio of the roots of the equation is m is to n. Then satisfy the condition m plus n whole square by mn equal to b square by ac. Options in terms of square root here. Options in terms of square root. So you can squaring uh, taking square root of both sides. Root of m plus n whole square by mn equal to root of b square by ac. Square root cancel m plus n by root of mn. Root of mn means root m into root n. Root of b square is b nana b by root a. Split the numerator m by root of m into root n plus n by root of m into root n equal to b by root a m by root m is root m will get cancelled this two root m will get the remaining so root m by root n is root of m by n similarly this is the root of n by m equal to b by root ac again i am repeating m by root m into root n this m can be done as root m whole square by root m into root n Square root cancel. Root m by root n is root of m by n. Check the solution. Say next question. Anna. Alpha beta the roots of the x square plus px plus pq equal to 0 is given. 
alpha beta are the roots of the x square plus p x plus q p q is given. Such that alpha equal to beta square. This meaning is the one root is the square of the other. Suppose one root is the square of the other. Of the other root of square of the other root of the equation a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero is given. Then satisfy the condition. What is the condition? Have a c into a plus c plus b q b equal to three a b c. If one root is the square of the other root is given of the equation, then satisfy the condition. A C into A P C equal to A C into A P C plus B Q B equal to three A B C. A C into A P C plus B Q B equal to three A B C. Check the in our textbook synopsis number eleven. Synopsis number eleven now. In textbook synopsis number eleven, given x square plus b x plus b q. A value quotient of x squares one. B value quotient of x p, c value p q. Alpha equal to beta square. B is one root is the square of the other. Then what is the condition satisfies? A c into a plus c plus b q equal to three a b c. Substitute now a into c one into p q p q a plus c one plus p q plus b q means p q. 3a b c 3 into 1 into p into p q p power 4. Now p q common na na 1 plus p q plus 1 equal to 3 p power 4. Now these two get cancelled. P will get finally p q 3 p left hand left hand side minus 3 p plus 2 equal to 0. P q minus 3 p plus 2 equal to 0 will get. Of the sum of the quotients, sum of the quotients you can take it. One minus three plus two equal to zero. That means x equal to one is zero. P Q P square is also in zero into P square minus three P plus two equal to zero. Sum of the quotients you got it zero. So that is the P equal to one is zero. Using the one, you can do the centrifugal, Nana. Centrifugal, you can observe. It. First, P Q quotient is what one. Next, P square quotient zero. P quotient minus three. Constant is two. First, you are right. The P Q quotient one. P square quotient zero. P quotient is minus three. Constant is two. Zero is ten. Let one plus zero is one. One into one one. Zero plus one is one. One into one one. Minus three plus one is minus two. One into minus two is minus two. Remainder zero will get. Remainder is zero. Again, sum of the quotients is zero, na na. Again, sum of the quotients is zero. Again, with respect to one, we can do it. Continue, sir. Let's find sir. Can take the quotients of this equation. One. Zero minus three two one 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 into one one zero plus one 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 into one one minus three plus one is minus two one into minus three is minus two remainder zero will get again you can check the sum of the quotients one plus one minus two how much zero so again you can do with respect to one you can do the division with respect to one you have to do the synthetic division allow zero here. Dash means zero. One plus zero is one, Anna. One into one, one. One plus one is two. One into two is two, zero. So p value is one will get. Ah, uh, this is the two times here the one. One more time is the remaining is three once again. P value here two roots are here. One one is here. That is the p minus one whole square. The remaining is the first degree polynomial quotients. One into p plus two equal to zero. So p value equal to one. Our p value is minus two. If we take p value is one, so 
sulfur in one. P equal to one means we get the equation x square plus x plus one equal to zero. Get. This equation has roots x equal to omega gamma omega square. P value minus two you are substituted in this equation. We get x square minus two into x minus two whole cube is minus eight. Do the factorization. One into minus eight is minus eight. Factor summation minus two. That means four into two. So x minus four into x plus two. X equal to four comma minus two are the roots. X equal to four comma minus two are the roots. Check the solution. See. Next question is that is eight. One root of the equation k square plus one into x square plus thirteen x plus four k equal to zero is reciprocal of the other. One root is reciprocal of other. That means you can take one root is alpha. Other root will get one by alpha. One root is alpha. Other root you can take one by alpha. Now product of roots. You got alpha into one by alpha that equal to one. What is the product of the roots formula? C by A. Product of the roots is C by A. C means constant. Now, now what is the constant value? Four k. By A is the quotient of x square k square plus one. Equal to one. Then now we have the right hand side. Four k equal to k square plus one. Take into right hand side. K square minus four k plus one equal to zero. Is it? By split the middle term. Now in this case, splitting the middle term not possible. Factorization not possible. Then you can use the minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. A value quotient of k square one. B value quotient of k minus 4. C value is one. Substitute in the formula, we get 4 plus r minus square root of b square means 16. Minus four into one into one four by two into one. We get k equal to four plus r minus root twelve. Root twelve means sixteen minus four is root twelve. Twelve means four into three that is two root three. In the numerator two common two plus r minus root three by two. Put the answer that is equal to two plus r minus root three. In the option they given two minus root three is given. The option they given two minus root three. Check the solution. Come into next question, Anna. One real root of the quadratic equation. One real root of the quadratic equation. Eighty one x square plus k x plus two fifty six. Equal to zero. Cube of the other. Cube of the other. Square of the other. You have direct formula is there. For cube of the other, general formula. One root is the nth power of the other. One root if we take alpha, other root will get alpha power n. One root is the nth power of the other means you have take one root is alpha, other root you can take alpha power n. Now coming to nth power of the other means what is the condition satisfies? A into c whole power a c power n whole power one by n plus one. A power into c whole power one by n plus one plus b equal to zero. A value is eighty one ana. B value k c value two fifty six. In place of n is here three. Cube of the other means n equal to three. Substitute in the condition. A into c cube whole power one by three plus one plus a power three c whole power one by three plus one plus b equal to zero. Substitute the value eighty one into two fifty six whole cube whole power one by four plus a cube eighty one whole cube into c value is what does c value have? Two fifty six whole power one by four 
plus b means k equal to 0. 81 is a 3 power 4 nana. And this is the 4 power 3, 4 power sorry. 4 power 4 whole cube, 4 power 12 whole power 1 by 4. 3 power 4 whole cube is 3 power 12 into 4 power 4 whole power 1 by 4. Obviously, power 4, 1 by 4 cancel 3 into 4 power 12 by 4 is 4 cube. 3 power 12 whole power 1 by 4 is 3 cube. So, k equal to 4 cube value. 4 4 is 64, 64 4 4 is 3 60 is 180, 3 4 is 12. Minus, bring the right answer, final answer we get. To the calculation, we get final answer. The 27 into 4, final answer we have minus 300. Check the solution. 1 root is the nth power of the other means satisfy the condition a into c power n whole power 1 by n plus 1 plus a power into c whole power 1 by n plus 1 plus b equal to 0. In place of a is 81, in place of b is a k, in place of c is a 256. One root is a cube of the other means n equal to 3. In place of n, 3 or say take, we get the value of k. The solution. Now coming to 14, you know. 3 plus 4i is a root of the equation is given. 3 plus 4i is a root of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is given. Then find the value of 31 into a plus b plus c. Now I am finding the actual equation containing the root 3 plus 4i. Let x equal to 3 plus 4i. Now you have to eliminate the i imaginary part. Plus 3 taking left hand side x minus 3 equal to 4i. Squaring on both sides a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 9 minus 6x. 4i square is 16i square. But i square value is how much? Minus 1. i square value will come in the complex number minus 1. So x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to minus 16. Minus 16 taking left hand side. 9 plus 16 is 25. But this is the given equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. A value quotient of x square 1, B value is minus 6, C value is 25. They asked to find 31 into A plus B plus C. 31 into A value is 1, B value minus 6, C value 25. 31 minus 6 is 25, Nana. 25 is 25. Answer becomes a 50. Take the solution. Okay, we will meet next class. 2022 middle solution 30, 31 to 40, 31 to 40 10 bits here. I will send the next uh, video again 10 bits. So total 138 bits are there. Uh, some of the bits I will explain in the class. Continuation I will explain the uh, video links I will send. Okay, have a nice day, bye.